Hey, Scott Bingham here. Um, beautiful day here in the Low Country. I'm out here in front of a house on Ladies Island I sold a couple weeks ago. Um, we've already had the home inspection, but the lender is requiring a septic tank inspection. Septic tanks are on probably 85% of the houses out on Ladies Island. And so I thought I'd just take a few minutes and kind of show you what happens during a septic tank inspection. Okay, here we go. Well, as you can see behind me, the truck's here, and uh, the guys have located the tank. Let me uh, turn around. You can see them uh, digging it up right now. So uh, we'll be started here in just a few minutes. Okay, they found the lid, and they're just uh, cleaning it off now, getting ready to crack it open. I'll go get the ball. Okay, they got it moving now. Wow. There it is. That's the inlet pipe that comes in. You can see really. No, it's operation level right there. Okay. So, when you, you saw that pipe there, um, that was the inlet for the house to the tank. If the water would have been over that pipe, there would have been a problem. Okay, I'm here with Ron Degler uh, with Degler Waste Service, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's looking for when he does one of these inspections. Ron? Uh, all right, start off when we uh, come to a residence, we locate the tank. This particular tank is about uh, approximately about 10. 10 foot away from the, the, the front foundation. Uh, what we have to do, we have to find the lid, remove the lid, which on this case, this is a two-piece tank with a drop lid, a square 18 by 18 door. Once we re remove that, uh, at the point we can tell whether, if the, if the house is still active, we can tell whether the drain field is still working or you got some, or if the drain field is not working, uh, the water level is either going to be at working level or either it's going to be above working level. Now on this particular job right now, uh, we're pumping it out, getting all the water, to, the sludge out, and we'll clean it to the floor and wash the whole complete tank down. This way the tank looks like it's uh, just been installed. Then we'll take and look and make sure, uh, we'll look in the tank and make sure there's no breaks on the wall or the, or the upper wall of the tank and uh, check the floor and also check the uh, the outlet T and uh, then we'll go from there and see what everything uh, consists of but again this looks like it's going to be a, a pretty not, uh, pretty good job and the drain field looks like they working at uh, at adequate uh, percolation so that's what we're basically doing now. We're just uh, pumping it out and getting all the sludge out of it. Great, thanks. Okay, it's just about empty and uh, they'll be doing the rest of the inspection here in just a minute. And uh, Steve and Erica, you now know exactly where your septic tank lid is. Okay. They just asked the seller to go ahead and uh, flush the toilet with some watered up toilet paper in there so they can see it as a marker as it flows through, just to make sure the flow's okay. Now they're down there with a the flashlight, uh, not down in there, but looking down in there and uh, checking the walls and checking the uh, outlet area to make sure everything looks okay, no cracks, um, nothing unusual or anything else. So in this case, looks like we've got a good septic system. Um, certainly have a beautiful front yard, um, which is fed by the septic system and uh, everything's good to go. So that's what happens during a septic tank inspection. Hope you found this helpful. As always, if you have any questions, call me, Scott Bingham, 843-252-2296, BufordHomeTeam.com. Okay, thanks.